So what the Supreme Court held is that with regards to people who have a bona fide relationship with either a person or institution in the United States, uh, those people, the injunction stays in effect and they are not subject to the travel ban going forward between now and October when the case will be argued. However, for people who don't have a bona fide relationship to a person or institution in the U.S., the travel ban will be allowed to take effect for those folks the, for the first time ever starting on Thursday. The question, of course, that leads to is, so what does it mean to have a bona fide relationship with people in the U.S.? So there's some sort of obvious cases, right? Is people who are coming in on family petitions uh, from people in the United States, or people who are coming in to work at a U.S. company, or people who are coming in to study at a U U.S. university. Those are the clear-cut cases. But then there's going to be a lot of cases, and then there's some cases where they're clearly not, right? I mean, an Iranian family that wants to visit Disneyland uh, is clearly, clearly does not have a bona fide relationship with a U.S. institution. But then there's a lot of cases that are really on the line. What if I am an Iranian and I want to come to the United States to see my niece's graduation from UCLA? Is, uh, I'd be coming in on a tourist visa. Is a niece close enough family relationship such that I am or am not subject to the ban? Who knows? Well, my concerns are that the government officials who are going to be left to decide who is and is not subject to the ban are not exactly going to be charitable in their, uh, you know, in their decision-making processes, right? I mean, most likely they're going to try to exclude everyone they think they can possibly get away with excluding. And then, you know, are we going to have to go back to court on every single one of those people? But the fact of the matter is that with the exception of about 24 hours in late January, there have been no periods of time so far during the Trump administration during which this ban has been allowed to go into effect against anyone at all. And now, as of Thursday, the ban will go into effect against some people. And so I think you have no choice but to see it as at least a partial win for the Trump administration.